Hello, hello. Today I have a very different video from my usual content of this channel. Just because this mission was so stupidly difficult, I thought I would upload a video of how to beat it, which is up to date. Today is the, uh, I mean up to date as of this video, because all the other ones are like 2013 and stuff, because this game's old, but it's uh, November 10th, 2019. You'll probably see in the video, it's shortly after that that I upload this. And, um, I thought about doing one about the Crimea, because that was very difficult. But, this is the one about, it's a scenario called Face Off at Rostov. Or however you say it. And it is so annoying and stupidly diff- I have not beat it the way you're supposed to be beating it yet. But, I just beat it doing it this way. Which gonna add a computer player down there and well I see I always like to take the bottom slot I'm gonna load a save so it's not gonna matter but I would recommend taking the bottom slot just so you're closer to you just want that that's a better spot trust me <laughs> just for what I'm doing you'll see soon so we're gonna load in and I'm loading a save because I don't want it to take like 30 years because these games take forever, and this strategy isn't exactly quick, but don't worry, it's still going to take a while. You'll probably see by the video link. Okay. So. Uh, yes, I like to spin my camera so my base is looking at their base. Something like that would be good. So it starts you like this. And basically what you want to do is just get your infantry up there, take that point, your allies should fight for that point, you can help them out if you want. But really you just have to hold one point so the game extends. And then you're going to take your uh, Stug and this is going to be your main combatant right here. So you're going to take these two, also you start with the hat track if you use the other thing. So this is much better for what we're doing. So you're going to tell them to go, they're going to go from your base, you go down this road. The pathing should auto take them over here. They should go through the little ice gap, up across this thing, over here, and into this field right here. That's where you're gonna send them. And they should be able to. They might get attacked, but they're fast enough to outrun them. And the AI will like chase you for a second, then they'll turn around and leave. They won't commit to it. So this is me trying to figure out how to do this. This is my first one, which I'll, I'll just load them and show you where I'm at. This is like me just playing normally. It usually takes to like. The low 400s to get a, which is pretty early in the game considering it's out of 500 tickets, but usually it takes to the low 400s to get ready to start what I'm doing. Basically, you just uh, get the tech up to battle phase two or whatever it is where you can build scout cars, build the building, because then you have the half track scout car and anti tank gun. All you're gonna build is half tracks or uh, scout cars after that. That's all you're using. So right now you'll see I'm like, I got my stud parked here, my my car also parked here, and I'm just like guarding this, I got two MG bunkers. I have one guy over here who's just chilling here, because I, I wanted to help my teammate. So yeah, these guys always die, I always feel like that in front of me. This took quite a few attempts to figure out. So then from here I would just take my armor, and send them to the corner, because I showed me doing this the last time, you're not supposed to do it right off the start, it's better to just make sure you got this point. So you can hold it for a little bit. And then you would go like, I just go like this, I go, because you can right click, to set where your new spawn units are going to go, send them right over this corner, and send them. And also, I would definitely try, I make two engineers just like every game pretty much, just because that's a good idea, but send your engineers to that corner too if you can. I had them here to build some bunkers and repair the trucks and stuff, but send your engineers to the corner, you get on, it's a good idea, trust me. So then, after you get with that, you're going to just keep sending scout cars, they're going to try and stop them. One might die once in a while, it's not that big of a deal. And then you'll get to this stage of the game. You see this only took me 1639, so I could have probably recorded the whole thing actually, but this is definitely going to be quicker. Ugh. 
This took like so many attempts. I've probably tried this mission like 40 times now, 40, 50 times. It's just so annoying. Just on general, I'm saying. So here, there's a minefield here. You can just plow them through the mines. They see an engineer. It's no big deal. Plowing through. Yeah, now here it's important to kill these PTRS guys. You're going to want to kill all the infantry, especially anything that can hurt you. They shouldn't bring armor back here. As long as you do it pretty early, so you still 420 to 453. As long as you do it pretty early, they should not bring armor back here. Second raid, it's not a big deal. Don't, don't focus on saving him. Uh, I'm probably just gonna play it out from here just so you can see that I'm not making this up. That actually works. Because my next save is like basically I have like 50 scout cars back here and it's just me seeing if like. I just saved it just in case I fucked it up, but yeah, I just ran the scout cars through. Just Your objective is to destroy every building they have. If you destroy all their buildings, you automatically win. It's, it's annihilation victory in terms. And that is the only way I have found to win this. It takes 200 manpower. You should never, as long as you hold these points in your base here, you should never hit the fuel cap. It should tick faster than you can spend, so. Don't worry about fuel. Buying scout cars. Get on up here. Don't worry about anything else on the map. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal anymore. Yeah, I'll show you the journey of one, uh, one of our scout cars here. It really goes like this. Where they're, they're, they're running. See, they use that little gap that I was talking about. Which is very slow. I don't, they should just go like that, but they like going over ice because they're retarded. Bayai in this game is a special place in my heart. It's not good, but it's... It's just, you know what they're going to do, even though it's stupid. And like the little shuffles to get through gaps. It's just stuff you come to expect. It's, it's just hilarious watching it. Alright. So yeah, I haven't parked up here. Oops. what I do? Oh, I said cease attack. That's cool how you can actually cease attack on those. Yeah, you're going to want to also build a fire pylon. But you probably will. Because your engineers still freeze. We have a forward structure under attack. Got to repair him. Get him up here. Yeah, the two two twos. It seems like the AI interface is really bad, but maybe like the further you like push up the field they play better, because they're like pushing hard. They never did that before. I just noticed that. Because your AI in this mission is ungodly bad. Like, if you did this with a friend, it would probably be a lot faster too, but none of my friends play this game, so, you know. Thanks, Ben. Have a forward structure under attack. <laughs> oh shit. Stop. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we are in. Svansig. Yes, yes. Chop, chop, scout cars, chop, chop. I'm gonna go mine sweeping. Which, you may want to do this too. Just give it a little trial run around here, try and hit the mines to get them out of the way. Oh, they have tanks up here now. That's not good. Run! Well, that one almost died. It did die. He did not make it. He got chased.
face down. Should be fine now, though. Oh, man. bought the H on them. It makes them repair better now after the newest update. But you know, enemy has destroyed one of our this is not optimal. This is just, it, it works. Wow, I have a lot of repairing to do now. I took a lot of damage there. As you can see, they're still struggling to get, actually they just got through down there. So. I think it would be better just keeping it there. Don't worry about that though, it's not a big deal. I might stop some more scout cars now, just now that they have armor, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Did that time perfectly? Oh, I thought that was going to time it perfectly so it nailed my scout cars. That really suck. I'm just using some encirclement stock thing. You don't need this stock thing at all, it doesn't help you at all. I just use it all the time, so I like it. I'm just used to having all my soldiers sprint. It really didn't help you at all, though, for this guy. In fact, you could probably do this better with, like, Pumas or something. Let's see, I don't know. Like, Pumas can kill if you do shit. Does my teammate have rocket artillery? Or is that a Katusha or some shit? I swear I heard rocket artillery. Uh... Where was that? Sound like it was right there. I don't know what. That is totally rocket artillery. Where is that? Of course, Scout Car is finding a, a hard time. Go, you can do it. Oh, no. He's camping the, the walkway. Oh, but it's going around. Oh, no. I was going to say it's smart, but there we go. If we just would have kept going straight, it would have made it. Now it's easy. Yeah, it's totally close. It's mortar. All right, well. Maybe all the all the vehicles we get this measly little number, but more will trickle in, I'm sure, over time. But now they have all the points, we're gonna have to start playing because, especially our AI has seems to have uh, about five units now that the tank's coming in. So we're running out of time. We have a new scout car. New scout car. Are we gonna repair this one? Oops. I wanted to shift repair, but pulled up my thing. Can't build anymore. Come on, repair it. Oh, look at that. Another one made it. Join the... <laughs> join the crew. I remember I was laughing when I won. I wasn't even like that happy. I just thought it was hilarious how stupid this was and this is how you beat this insanely hard mission. It's just the stupidest way you could think. 
Like, this game's pretty realistic and stuff. It's got a lot of good, like, physics and good graphics and stuff. But, you know, it fails in some areas like this, where this is a strategic victory turns just to uh, spam scout cars into their base. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there goes the 222. Didn't make it. I mean, look at all that shit. I mean, I don't blame them. But, by this point, you should have enough scout cars like I do. I even lost a bunch just testing the waters over there, trying to minesweep or whatever I was doing. I don't know. Alright, so we send them back to the fire, and we start the attack. And you'll see, while I'm attacking, I'm still gonna be, like, uh... I'm still gonna be pulling things back that are injured. No, don't go around. You'll see here, these things have explosive rounds. They're not very good against tanks and shit, but they just absolutely destroy. Just because it's enough. It's explosive still. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Attack. Everyone kill the KV-1. So we killed one of the players, but there's still another player. But now they've really pulled off because they got really scared because they're about to die. So now, you could just uh, build up your 222s again and do it again. Which is uh, what we're going to do. Boop. Oh, I'm actually running out of fuel. That's my problem now. <laughs> I heard a TTT be sent. Yeah, they're shutting me down pretty good here. But... You, you saw the gist of it. Here, I'll just... I'll show you what it looks like when it goes well. Because before I, had, I got it done a little sooner, so I guess I beat the tank back. Because they can't make tanks if you break their tank factory, so I could still recover that. Just kill that one tank, and then start it again because the purple the top AI does not have a tank factory they, they don't build one they just get it because uh, when the condition special condition on this map is that the AI automatically gets uh, vehicles when you take a point they get a bunch of fucking units when you take a point and it's actually impossible in general because of that because they get like 20 mortars and you can't do anything but yeah, this is this is how I was winning last time. With this, you see I had tons of scout cars. And I'm just 
roll through here. This, yeah, this top one? Yeah, it's this, this, and this. Which none of those are the same ones. So you can just stroll up here. Show all the facilities. As you saw, the tank didn't come back that time. So I guess if you just wait till you have like enough scout cars, it'll work in one go. I mean, this was all in one go. I just made saves along the way just in case. But if you just hoard up scout cars, don't attack early like I did in the first example. That was bad. But just hoard up scout cars and attack all at once, just like that. And you should be able to just steamroll them. If there's anti tank guns, you can just kill them with that. If there's a tank, just make a save and reload it. And if there's a tank there, just wait until it leaves because the tank will go attack like the points after you play the game. And then you can go around and kill him. <laughs> but, I don't know. This guy might not be good. Maybe kind of trash. And I'm sorry for that. I'm not a professional. I'm just a guy who plays this game. But, this mission was extremely hard. And I just thought I'd show you how to get that 100% in case you're trying to get 100% completion like I was. And can't find a good guide on how to beat this stupid level. That's how I did it. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.